Hey, this is Tom with New Currency University and I wanna welcome you to the training on what is mining and why should you be doing it? Uh, I wanna talk just about a couple ways to create wealth with digital currency. I think you'll find this training very helpful. Mining is the term that really confuses, two terms that confuse people in digital currency, the algorithm and the word mining, okay? Now, mining is very, very simple. Mining means you are bringing the currency into existence, okay? It's kind of like gold mining. What are you doing? You're bringing gold ore into existence to turn it into jewelry or a usable product, okay? So mining is essential to digital currency. In fact, after you've created the algorithm and you've created your mathematical equation to run your digital currency, okay? It's kind of like creating a software to run a website. Once you've created that algorithm, the next thing you need to do is you need to find people that are willing to mine your currency, okay? Some people would call them early adopters. Let me give you another great example. Let's say you've done a startup company and you got all your friends that are helping you build it and you got your lemonade stands and you got your guy that pulls the wagon, your guy that squeezes the lemons, and you don't have a lot of money up front, okay? So what do you give those people for helping you with your business? You give them stock or you give them options, you give them paper basically with a serial number on it and you say, hey, thanks for believing in me. If you wanna be a part of this early stage, I'll give you this paper at a small price and when we take it public at a big price, you're gonna get rich. Okay, that's the promise of being a founder of a startup company, right? Okay, it doesn't always work out that way, we know that, okay? Some of it becomes paper plane material, I've got some of that. So mining is by definition, a process of bringing digital currency into existence or into circulation where people can use it. Now miners, here's the benefit to being a miner, you get it at a discount, okay? Uh, you can use, in some cases like with Bitcoin, you can use raw power and you can use your own computer servers, not a reality much anymore because it's so competitive, but uh, another way, like with Bit, uh, OneCoin, you can use mining packages or these tokens they use that are a form of energy that allow you to mine coins. That's another way you can do it, okay? And it's a much more efficient way of doing it, by the way, as well. And I'll explain why probably in this presentation, okay? Because it's important, all right? So mining is the process of bringing currency into circulation. Just like a gold miner brings gold into circulation to become gold bars or jewelry or what have you, coins. So mining is really that. And I, you know, I can't complicate it much more than that except for the reason you wanna mine early on when you get into a digital currency, let's say that you have, here's your algorithm, okay? And your algorithm governs your digital currency. Well, the first part of your capital that comes out, first part of your currency is going to be really inexpensive. And as time goes on, the cost of the currency is going to increase because the amount of miners competing for the coins is going to increase. And the one thing I wanna be very clear about, and you may not know this about digital currency, but when you create your algorithm, your black box, if you will, okay, I want you to envision a safe. All of your equations are inside the safe. People have to crack the safe to get the equations out but there's one key that's very important that most people don't know. Only a certain amount of equations can come out every 10 minutes or every one minute or whatever the algorithm is set at to release it. For example, Bitcoin uh, releases like 10,000 coins per 10 minutes. So it can't release any more than that, so they can't flood the market. It's kind of like, what if all the gold miners could mine all the gold that's in existence today all in one day, what would happen to the price of gold? It would plummet. Okay, because there's too much brought into existence. So God has made it very difficult to find gold. And he says, you gotta go mine it. Well, the more miners you have, the more competition you have for gold, okay? So with the example of digital currency, the more miners you have, the more competition you have, say for 10,000 coins every 10 minutes, what's gonna happen? When you have a whole bunch of people, when you have 500 people competing for a finite number of coins, what happens? Well, it's gonna be X price, okay? If you have 5,000 people competing for that same block of coins, what happens to the price? It's gonna go up in value, okay? So mining is a very, very important function, and I don't really wanna complicate it much more than that, except to say that 
miners get coins at a deep discount for bringing them into circulation. Let me give you my, my last analogy, and I, I like this one. Let's say that Ben Bernanke calls you. He's the former, uh, uh, former head of the Federal Reserve, and, and, and Ben Bernanke calls you, and he, he says, you know, uh, Tom, we, uh, we want to do a trillion dollar bond offering. We want to dilute the hell out of all of our existing uh, money holders and, and reduce their value even more, but we don't have the money to do it, okay? And we need some paper and we need some ink and we need some legal work done and some marketing money. And so we're going to take a portion of those bonds and we're going to sell it for 10 cents on the dollar, okay? So if you want to put up some paid in capital now, uh, we'll give you those bonds for 10 cents. How many of y'all would buy them? Oh, and by the way, when they come public in 90 days, they're gonna be worth a dollar. How many of y'all would do that? Raise your hand. I do it all day long, okay? I'm getting dollars for 10 cents, okay? Well, guess what? In digital currency, you get the same thing. Depending on the amount of energy or capital commitment you put into something, the bigger the risk you take, the bigger reward typically you're gonna get. Of course, the bigger the risk is, okay? So when you are mining coins, let's say you buy a $500 mining package, you might get coins for, let's say, uh, $5.50. Again, I'm using one of the digital currencies as an example. These are hypothetical, so uh, okay. But let's say the coin is worth $7, okay? And you put $500, uh, dollars in capital in and you get the coins for 550 well you just saved a dollar fifty okay you've gotten about a 20 percent gain right there okay let's say you put up a thousand dollars okay you're gonna get the coins for let's just pretend 450 why because you're taking a bigger risk okay when you invest in companies and stock companies and startup companies if you put in a bigger amount of money you can negotiate better terms right of course you can Okay, um, let's see. Let's say you put up $5,000, okay? And you get the coins for $2.50, okay? So I'm thinking, wow, I can get coins for $2.50 and when they hit my e-wallet and I can use them, they're worth $7, okay? So I just gained $4.50 on my money for putting up risk capital. Okay, so when you think about that, it's not an ROI. I'm not talking about ROIs. What I'm saying is the more money you commit, the better price you can mine coins at. Well, certainly that creates, you know, a gain for you. Okay, and you know, maybe it's designed that way. But uh, when you think about, you know, that's the way life is. The more risk you put up, the more money you make typically, right? Am, am I wrong? So 12,500, let's say you get the coins for $1.75, you know? Let's say on a $27,000 package, you know, you can get the coins for $1.30. All right, you see what I'm saying? So how many of y'all like this better than this? Okay, we say, well, I only can afford that. Great, you still have the ability to realize more purchasing power, okay? When you mine the coins at these different levels, at this level, you get a certain number of coins at $1.30, okay? They're worth seven the day you get them. I mine, personally, I mined coins at 43 cents. Today, they're worth seven. Now, what happens if you mine coins at $1.30 and those coins go to $17 a coin, okay? You have 100 times more buying power now because your currency has gone up in value why? Because the community has grown around a finite supply of currency that has got a scheduled rollout of a certain amount of coins every 10 minutes, okay? So if you're an investor, which I am, you need to wake up to the fact that if you find a company like OneCoin that has a massively growing community, growing bigger than Bitcoin every 90 days, and you have a finite supply of coins, you have a scheduled rollout of that, and the price on the coin is going up in value because the community is growing, and the reason the coin is going up in value is because it's finite, there's a limited supply of coins being rolled out every 10 minutes. Okay, so do you see that? If you took economics, if you took economics 101, you get this, all right? So, and then as you mine coins, the bigger risk you take, 
the better price you get on the coin. So Ben Bernanke says, you know, Tom, if you put up 50,000, we'll give you the coins for 25 cents on the dollar. Okay, if uh, you put up a million dollars, we'll give them to you 15 cents on the dollar. And if you put up $10 million, we'll give them to you for 10 cents on the dollar. Okay, does that make sense? So people say, Tom, it sounds too good to be true. They do it in founders companies, on technology companies. They do it on bond offerings. They have everything set up the same exact way, but when digital currency does it, mining is a scam. Or it sounds too good to be true. Guess what, folks? Too good to be true will go away one day. It will not be that good, okay? But it is now because you're in at the very, very beginning. So I just wanna spend a little time talk to you about mining. I hope this makes a lot of sense to you. Some of you that are technical people, you're gonna go, that's a stupid explanation, but some people call me the Rosetta Stone of digital currency where I explain it to where people actually understand it as opposed to the tech gurus that are out there that absolutely do not speak human language, okay? So my goal is to help you understand why you want to be a miner of digital currency and why you want to mine. It's the single most important thing you will learn in the next decade is how to mine digital coins. Why do I say that? Because Amazon will probably come out with a coin. If you know how to mine it, you can capitalize on it, okay? PayPal will probably come out with a coin. If you know how to mine it, you can probably capitalize on it, okay? And, and there's gonna be different ways of mining. So there's gonna be computer-based mining, which is highly technical for the tech geeks, okay? There's the token-based mining, which is good for the average everyday Joe that wants to do mining. And then there will be some companies that do crowd sales, kind of like crowdfunding, and they'll bring their currency into existence with a crowd sale, okay? And we've already seen a couple of those happen already. So there's gonna be different ways to mine coins, but the most important thing that you wanna know is how do I mine digital currency, okay? And that is the single most important thing that you could learn in the next five to 10 years that will create more wealth than you, for you than anything you've ever done in your life. So this is Tom McMurray with New Currency University. I hope you enjoyed this training. And I'll see you on the other side. If you want more information on my system, you can text the keyword NCU. New Currency University, okay? Text that num that's that keyword to 435-222-COIN, okay? And that'll get you access to my online mobile system, my online mobile website that has all of my trainings on it. You can learn about everything that I do and how I build my business, and I'm here to work with you. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you at the top. Have a great day.